Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Kahlberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the price of Brent oil. So Brent has seen a rather big drop in recent months from its peak during the initial initial stage of the Russian Ukraine crisis. And in the last few days, what we've seen is some news come about from England with regards to the Bank of England basically confirming that they are in a, tech, in, in a recession and that they don't foresee much growth for the next two years, whilst also raising rates to 70, another 75 basis points. In addition, the US is also um, fighting inflation and may very well, um, has also wrote, re increased interest rates by 75 basis points, with the potential and sentiment coming out that they may need to increase for longer to fight this inflation and potentially push the country into a recession. So. There's been quite a lot of, there may be a lot of um, headwind for the price of Brent to work through. However, what we can see on the charts is potentially something quite positive, especially in recent times. So firstly, we're going to just have a look at the weekly chart. And bear in mind, we still have one more tra main trading session in the States to go, or um, rather in the, uh, in the States and the UK to go. But what we can see is that, um, of course, We've got still holding this long-term support at $86, and we bounced off that pretty convincingly here, and we saw this nice green candle um, just over here. In addition, what we've got is this nice um, kind of downward trend, and we do have at this stage a little bit of a breakout on the RSI from being quite oversold. So that's another positive, and bear in mind, guys, this is the weekly chart. And what we can see is that we've had this little kind of coil um, since this big red, green candle. We haven't actually broken back down. So we could have considered this a rejection. And in the moment, we've just kind of scrabbling or just zigzagging between these price points here. You know, we're just kind of going up and down. Um, we haven't decided yet if we're going to go up, you know, going to break through or go up. But that's kind of the price action that we're seeing. And the last three weeks for the price of oil have been very interesting, as you can see. They've been quite choppy, um, no real, not quite um, super range, um, especially considering the prior three weeks or the prior, yeah, the prior two weeks for that. So that's our weekly outlook. Now, as we have a look at the daily, um, what we can see is that, just bear with me, let's make this big. So we've still got this, as I said, that long-term support, which we bounced off. Could probably bring this a little bit higher, more like there. Got the top of our range. Um, and then again, we've got this downward channel. And this is what the um, weekly chart wasn't showing, is this kind of, again, this coiling action here. Um, and we've got this little bit of upward movement here, this channel. So the key is, well, can we break through... 98 100 dollars and if we can then we may see a pretty significant move back up or if we can't break through we may see a move back down and as we spoke about before with a lot of the recessionary and inflationary pressures that are that are currently existing that may affect the growth especially if the us starts to really um fall into that recession it, we may see a struggle for oil pricing prices to go up Bearing, also remembering that OPEC can adjust this, um, their supply of oil accordingly. But for the moment, we are waiting to see if we can cross this $97 mark. Um, if not, as I said, we, can't, we can come back down and retest. So we do have some potential short or long opportunities um, for either of these, either direction. And then just lastly, um, again, we've got um, a mini kind of breakout on the RSI. And similar to the actual price action we're waiting to see if we can get above this 60 level so that a, a small bit of a divergence almost you could say um but that's really where we're looking at for oil so an interesting end to the week may come tonight and then to see what comes next week if we can break through this 98 to 100 dollar level or we fall back down and potentially you know go short there um but there you go guys i hope you enjoyed the video and good luck trading